If you're trying to open TV Portal and you're getting this message here about no listings found, it means that you've not scanned in your XML file. Now that's fine, if you don't want to use an XML file, then you can create dummy channels. This does mean that they won't have any actual physical listings, any live listings, but you can add channels in there if you want, um, you know, without listings. That's, that's perfectly fine if you don't want to import XML files. And, and you can also add to your existing listings, so if you do have live listings in there, you can um, add dummy channels in there as well, which just uh, provide no data, but you can open open those channels from the guide. So let's just go through how you do that. So let's go on TV Portal Tools and this will now um, generate a dummy channel for us. So let's click OK and you can see there we've got our dummy channel. So that's called dummy channel. If we come out, if we go into TV Portal now, we should find that we've got one channel in there which is uh, called dummy channel. There you go listings coming soon because we've got absolutely no data for it. Um, let's come out of there. If we go back down to TV Portal Tools, uh, we can we can do stuff to this. So we can rename it, we can clone it, do all kinds of stuff. So let's click on it and we're going to, first of all we're going to rename this. So I'm just going to call this uh, BBC1. There you go, so it's called BBC One. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to change the logo. Now, oh, what I've got in here is my sources. Um, because I've not added my Kodi folder in there, it's not showing, basically. It's not showing the, uh, the folder that I need to navigate to. So let's come out there. Let's go into the add-on settings and um, I'm going to untick that one and it should just show my actual logo folder. Yep. Uh, color logo pack. There you go. And we can have a look for a BBC one. So let's just go for that one I do. So you see, there we go, we've got a nice logo for it, we've got a name for it, and um, and that's great, you know. Uh, with the logos, uh, if you're logged in, if you're logged in as uh, with your Noobs and Nerds forum login, then the download, the things like logo packs will automatically download, so you'll always get the latest ones. If you're not logged in, that's fine, you can just create your own logos, um, and once you've created them, go into your file manager and just add the source um, where your logos are stored and then when you come come back to TV Portal Tools in the settings you just need to make sure that one is ticked. Um, if it's ticked it will search all your uh, file manager locations you'll be able to select from there. If it's unticked it will go straight to the um, logos folder that's been downloaded automatically with your noobs and nerds login. I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's go back in there. So we've got a logo, uh, we've got the name, and let's click back on it and maybe we want to edit the description. So instead of uh, no channel information, we might want it to say something else. So let's try. Um, news, sport and whatever. just something generic like that. So we've got a description for it now. Obviously that's one of the worst descriptions in the world but uh, it's good for a demo. Uh, the other thing we can do in there is edit categories. Now this is great, this is really useful. So by default the dummy channel has these set up just so that you can see how categories work. So I'm going to keep UK and I'm, you can create any categories you want. You can call it anything you like. So I'm going to do drama and then you need one of these little uh, separator things which I've forgotten what they're called, sorry. Um, but yeah, use one of those uh, to separate each category 
and so UK drama and what else do they do? They do a bit of sport. So we'll stick with that. Okay. Um, let's click back on there, just check if there's anything else. Um, if you wanted to hide that channel, you can. You can just click on hide. Uh, select channel, we go into that um, in another guide because that's more advanced. Um, and clone channel, we're coming to that in a moment. So we're going to come out of there now. If we go to our TV portal, we should hopefully find that it's now going to populate with instead of the dummy channel, we should have yet yeah, BBC One. You can see that description there, new sport and weather. And um, yeah, we've got a logo. And if we click left, you can see the categories there categories that we set up. Uh, so let's come out of there because you're obviously going to want more than one channel presumably. So click on it again and if we choose the clone channel option you see we've got an absolute duplicate of it. So click on that. We can rename it. I'm going to go for BBC2 We change the logo to that one, and we can um, let's just quickly edit the description to test. And you can add as many as you want via the clone method. So come out there, come into your TV portal. And there you go, you got your test one, BBC2. Alright, thanks for watching. If you need any further help, uh, please visit the forum at noobsandnerds.com.